weeks ago, I made a video about my past history working retail at Walgreens. It was my first job, and I was there for roughly five years before moving on to a car dealership and finally landing my current job as a bus driver, with some other stuff in between. However, while my current resume may state I may have a history with three jobs, there was a fourth secret job in between Honda and bus driving that I really don't like to mention. It was sinister. It was evil. It was Pizza Hut. Picture this. I'm unemployed, have a car with a bad transmission that is way too expensive to fix, and desperately need a job. I've applied to over 50 different jobs on Indeed and LinkedIn, but since I'm a young adult with my only skill being black, nobody wants me. So what do I see one day? Yeah, the local Pizza Hut was hiring, and after swallowing my pride, I applied for the driver position. The manager in charge who hired me was Jeff. He wasn't the world's nicest guy, but he wasn't exactly mean either. He was more of a realist that just got stuff done. After shaking his hand, he sat me down and told me, you know the pay here. Sucks, right? And after laughing it off and basically muttering, yeah, I know, I was officially hired. A few days pass and after talking to some of the employees, it turns out that 99% of the staff was new or from different Pizza Hut locations. Well, it turns out the location I was working for was in the red zone, and it basically meant that the store had poor sales and reception. So the new manager, Jeff, who hired me, was sent to get new employees because the previous one was shot. Let me reiterate, the previous driver was shot. The worst part is that nobody told me what happened to the guy afterwards or how it even happened. So I was kind of too nervous to ask and just assumed it was a fake story or that just maybe he left, but more on that later. So let's talk about the actual delivering. Eventually I got to start delivering by myself and all things considered, it was okay for the first few hours. You see, while a lot of places will advertise delivering as a fun experience, since you can play your favorite music while you drive and give food to people, what they don't tell you is the novelty wears off rather quickly. To put it in perspective, if you work at DoorDash or Uber Eats, you get to choose what deliveries you do and work at your own pace. Sure, you don't get an hourly wage, but if you work efficiently, you'll make some mad cash and don't have to turn your tips into the boss. So why didn't I do DoorDash or Uber? Well, apparently my car didn't meet the requirements. I also have to add that since COVID had just broken out, the procedure for delivering was a bit different. You see, when you normally have a pizza delivered, you just hand it to the customer and leave like a normal person. But Pizza Hut being extra for publicity made us use these flimsy stands. What you were supposed to do was place this ring down, set the pizza on top, knock on the door, step back, and let the customer grab it. <coughs> sure, it sounds like a good idea for social distancing, but nobody liked them. Customers didn't like stepping outside, elderly customers had a hard time bending over to pick up a pizza I essentially put on the floor, and it made the delivery all the more tedious. Sure, there was a few people that took it seriously, but a vast majority said, please just hand it to me, and I was cool with that. Anyway, one of the lamest deliveries I had was in this upper class neighborhood. This lady had ordered over 10 pizzas for a party, and after having me set them down along with her breadsticks, wings, and brownies, she says the one thing I was dreading all my life. It, where's my drink? What drink? Yeah, that happened. Apparently, whoever took her order put her drink on a different receipt and didn't give it to me. After that, she took the pizzas, gave me no tip after I drove close to 30 minutes away fighting traffic and only to have an angry manager ask me what's taking me so long. Couldn't you ever one stick of the customer? You call yourself a delivery boy? Well, I ain't buying it! Another time I delivered to this older couple and the husband was about to hand me a 20, but the wife smacked him and said, I already tipped him more than enough with the credit card. And when I looked at the amount she tipped on the receipt, it was three bucks. While I can count a ton of bad deliveries, I do want to mention a really good one. And unfortunately, there's only really one or two good ones. So one day while going back to the rich neighborhood, I delivered to this guy who was in his garden. 
and not expecting anything and I started to leave. But then he yelled for me to come back and surprisingly he gave me 25 bucks and he said he knew I was working really hard. And it worked out too because I had absolutely no gas and it was enough to get me through payday. So, shout out to that guy. One thing I absolutely despised was working in the store, cleaning and making pizza. Now some of you may think, don't be a wuss, Tay, be a team player. And to that I would say, screw the team if there ain't enough people. You need to understand, when I filled out the job application, it said delivery. I didn't choose the cooking or cleaning position on purpose. So when I was called back to wash and oil pans or box pizzas, I was pretty mad. You need to understand that as a driver, a majority of my income came from people giving me tips. And every second I spent doing someone else's job, I was losing money. So when I jokingly told the manager, you know, we should get a bigger team, apparently the higher ups wouldn't allow that and made us work with a skeleton crew. I find it ironic that our store was in such a bad position and needed all the help it could get. But rather than hire and properly compensate people, they worked us to death with the bare minimum. At this rate, I was working at Pizza Hut for close to three weeks, and I made up my mind I was going to leave. I was mistreated and made fun of for not being experienced by other employees, and I was never sent out on deliveries, and when I was supposed to clock out at 10 p.m., I was often kept till 2 a.m. to help finish cleaning because nobody would do their job. One slow day while folding boxes to use for later, a new guy came into the store with a Pizza Hut uniform and a cast on his arm. After talking for a bit, it turned out he was in the hospital and out of work for a few weeks. So when I asked him why his arm was in a cast, it turns out he was the guy who was shot! He was only given roughly a few weeks of workers comp, and after that he had nothing to support himself on, so he had to come back to the store. It turns out that one night someone mistook him for somebody else and shot him while delivering pizza. Part of me has to wonder if it was anything with the big red shirts we had to wear in these neighborhoods. The next day, heading back to work, my car broke down for the 10th time that week. I worked my butt off to only bring home roughly $3.75 a week, working minimum wage. And for what? To spend half of that in gas? To risk being shot in a bad neighborhood? To be yelled at by someone who screwed up their own order? No, I was done, and I quit. The boss tried to get me to stay and offer me a 50 cent raise since I was cooking and driving. But after all the junk I had to go through, I said my goodbyes and left. But not without leaving my lock on the little door. <laughs> you know, have fun using some bolt cutters to get that off. A month after I left, Pizza Hut was under a lawsuit for underpaying its delivery drivers and for purposeful misclassification. Being desperate for money to pay my bills and being naive in the workforce, I had no idea I was being taken advantage of. To make things even worse, that store I used to work at was shut down for good as Pizza Hut filed for bankruptcy and closed a ton of locations. So I'm pretty glad I cut my losses and left. It's really hard to pick out the good with this job like I did in my last video covering Walgreens, but there's a lot more details I can't cover in this video just due to time. Overall, while it was a poor experience, I lived through it and I will acknowledge there are worse jobs out there. So, thank you to all the delivery drivers out there, whether you do pizza, Uber Eats, or anything else like that. If you're interested in knowing more, feel free to chat with me in Discord or comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. This is good. Little Caesars. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm. 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 It's beautiful. Oh, you know it's good to the string cheese. Oh. Mm. What was this about again? How am I supposed to eat this pizza without my dread?